Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. So I'm filming from Las Vegas and I thought it would be fun to show you all the makeup that I brought with me on my vacation. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with those who feel the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So how are you? I am great. We are about to go on the high roller wheel and I'm just waiting for my sister to call me and tell me that she's ready. So I know she's going to do that, especially because I'm trying to film a video, but I'm using a different camera. I have this little small camera that I bought last year and I've never used it. And I'm like, girl, why are we, what are we saving stuff for? Like, am I saving this? And then there'll be another camera out and this one will be obsolete. Like it's so stupid that I do that. So I brought this camera with me and it's actually really nice. I will put the details to it because it's super small. I'll try to show you some pictures of my uh, bootleg setup because um, I'm balancing this camera on a tripod that is sitting on an upside down ice chest and I'm sitting in front of the window. So using natural light only today. So. Uh, let me go ahead and get started. We're just going to start with the eyeshadow palettes because they are right in front of me. I actually brought... Oh, no, no, no. God, no. Sorry. Oh, my God, no. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. It was a struggle. I actually bought more makeup with me on this trip than any other trip. My sister's birthday is coming up. We're going to be here. And I just bought some extra things in case she wanted to use anything. And I'm just trying to work on my makeup goals uh, that I showed you all in my video. So let's start with the first palette that I brought with me, which was not in my makeup goals um, video, but it is a palette that I really, really enjoy. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize palette. And I thought about this one because Charlotte Tilbury is uh, reissuing her, what is it? Um, what is it? Fire Rose, I'm about to say Smoky Fire. The Fire Rose quad. And I was like, you know, it was all that at the time for Charlotte Tilbury, but it wasn't really all that. So I think the quality in this palette is really great. And I love all four color stories in this palette. I just think it is a really great one. And I remember I did not purchase this palette when it launched. I purchased it from the Sephora sale about a year later, and I don't think I used it until a year after that. But I have come to find this palette to be really trusty. It gives you these two uh, like light brown looks, medium brown looks. One that looks a little more warm than the other. This is a little bit cooler. And then you have these two looks here, the purple and the kind of romantic, pinky red, rosy look. And I just think it's great. So I wanted to bring this one with me. I'm not even wearing any eyeshadow today, but um, maybe I will later, I don't know. Maybe not, probably not actually, cause we're gonna be going to the pool. I do plan on filming my BYOP video while I'm here with Kelly. So I brought that, so I'm not gonna show what that looks like. I also brought another palette that I've never used and I did wear this palette to the airport and I'm not sure if I took a picture, but this is all done up by Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This is another nice, really, uh, I don't know, kind of a trusty neutral palette in a way. You, I don't actually not. This is almost spicy neutral actually. And I just love the little mustardy colors here. But when I wore the palette the other day, I wore these colors here. I think I did like three. I think I may have used all four shades. I used this in the inner corner and then I made like a matte uh, look for the lid. And I think what I really enjoy about Bum Bunny is the gradient. It makes such a smooth blend on the eye and that's what I really enjoy about the Blend Bunny palettes. So I thought All Done Up would be a nice choice and it will go with a lot of the clothing that I was bringing with me to Vegas. And I did bring one more palette and I brought my Zendo palette and Zendo is in my makeup goals box or bucket. And I did use this already this month, but this is another one where I thought this is going to go with everything that I brought. It's giving me some color and I do have some nice shimmers in the other palettes if I want something a little more poppy because the shimmers in this palette aren't, they're more satiny. They're not Natasha Denona's like fan fave for shimmer formulas but i just thought the colors in here would be great and then i've got some cool kind of murky colors like this one here the blues and 
I don't know, mostly in this kind of area here, these are gonna be the shades that I'm gonna use. But I think that if my sister does want me to do her eyeshadow, and I've never really done anyone's eyeshadow before, but she's more into neutrals, so I think that she'll be able to find something from one of these palettes that she would like to wear for her birthday. Now let's talk about blush. As per usual, I don't think I travel anywhere without my NARS Afterglow blush palette. It's probably one of my favorite blush palettes. And this one comes back from time to time and it's always on the last chance section of the NARS website for $29.50 when it does. So this is it right here. I, I always link it when it comes back. And I do have the All That Glitters palette, but this one definitely tops it for me. I love all the colors. I love making my own custom color. I never really use the red one by itself, but sometimes I will use the red with this one, like just to make this one a little more poppy. And you've got some mattes, you've got some shimmering blushes here, and then you have a highlight. So this one really works well for pretty much all of my blush needs. And I brought my three NYX Buttermelt blushes. So I have the Sooner the Butter. Love this one. I've already worn this one a few times this month. This beautiful tangerine, shimmery tangerine. I have For the Butter, which is a soft mauve. And this is a matte, but it's really more radiant. It's not like a pure matte, but I love this one. It's a nice, cool mauve shade. And then this other one and then lastly I have feeling butter which is a shimmering terracotta a little bit different of a terracotta shade for me now it looks terracotta right here but when I'm looking at it it doesn't look like terracotta to me but I love this one I love all three and I have to get up to get the last blush palette that I brought because I'm wearing a blush from it right now holy my camera doesn't fall lastly I brought my hourglass snake palette and I really brought it for one shade, which is this one. And this is the one I'm wearing right now. And I just think it's so beautiful. Hopefully you can see it. I'm still working with the settings on this camera as well as filming in natural light. But in person, you can see it a lot more than what you're seeing here. But I love the colors in this blush palette. There's a bronzer here in case I want to use it. And there's a setting powder highlight. But I really brought it for this. I do like all the blushes in here, though. I do have my Hourglass Trio, Ambient Lighting Trio. This is number two, the medium one. So I really just use these two for the most part. And if I wanna add a little bit of bronze, even though this is a finishing powder, this one works as a really light bronze for me or all over bronze if that's what I'm going for. I only brought one foundation and I haven't really used it. It's the Westman Atelier Foundation Stick. I think this was in my makeup goals video. I haven't even been wearing foundation. I don't have foundation on now. I just have one concealer, but this is the shade eight. And I love this. I purchased this from Poshmark or Macari because it's just too expensive. I brought one powder, which is my Huda Beauty Peach Pie Powder. And I'm just working right on through this. I really love this. I have this in a full size. So I will be using it after I'm finished. And for concealer and color corrector, I tried to put something else in the rotation besides my Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom and Natasha Denona Concealer. So I actually tried this combination out on a video last week, I think. And this is the Huda Beauty Color Corrector in Lychee and the Faux Filter Concealer in Granola. So this actually is what I have on now. And I'm kind of liking it better than the Cherry Blossom combo. I'm not sure why. And it might be because maybe I'm a little deeper, but I don't know, I still look pale in my opinion. But that's what I have been using. I have one primer. This is the So Blown Clean Blurring Primer from Cali Ray. I also have the setting spray with me. And I ran out of my Kiehl's facial sunscreen. So I have a facial sunscreen from BioEssence that I got in a one of those sunscreen Sephora favorites kits. Um, that's not really uh, fun to see, but that's what I've been using on my face. I have some other stuff, it's just not in front of me. So the next time I get up, I'll grab it because I forgot one of my blushes. Let's talk about lipsticks because they're right in front of me. I bought more lipsticks than anything else. I just could not make up my mind for some reason. And I had things that I definitely wanted to bring. Let's start with what I have on. This is a Moisture Glaze lipstick from Suku. I'm not sure which color this is, but it's like a, almost like a wisteria. You can see that there. Oh my gosh, I love the zoom on this camera. This is beautiful. So I have that one and I have another one. I'm not sure what color this is, but I love this color too. This is like a, I don't know. 
it's like a nude but to me it's got a little gray in there and that's one of my favorite ones to wear but I haven't worn this one in a while so I don't know I thought it would be nice I have Bois Rosé from Dior this is a satin and this was on my makeup goals list I wanted to bring that there's Bois Rosé I had to bring 90s pink from Charlotte Tilbury this is one of my favorite pink lipsticks and I think it's unique and I think it looks good on everybody I have three hourglass lipsticks with me. Peony is like one of my go-tos. I know this in my purse, but I also have Alpine, which is one of my new favorite nudes. There she is. And my baby Larch. I bring Larch everywhere. It's one of my favorite lipsticks as well. I probably have said that like five times. One of my favorite browns for sure. I'll go back at the end and just get any odds and ends that I forgot to film. From Rebane, I have one of their lipsticks, and this is the shade Secret Code. Secret Code is actually really uh, interesting. It's really cool tone, really cool tone purple. Oh no, I'm getting a message. Is my camera overheating? I don't have time for this. This is too much. Maybe because it's by the window. I'm getting a little signal here, but I'm gonna keep going, and we'll see. I do have a two lip clays and I think that was in my goals video from last month so this one is Adobe from Kaleidos that's Adobe and then I have Mercury Wave which if my sister and I well when we go out for her birthday I might wear Mercury Wave um, this is a really unique color and I don't wear it often but I think it's really pretty this Mercury Wave and lastly from Half Magic Beauty I have one of their I don't know what these are called Oh, Lip Snuggle, High Pigment Oil Balm. I'm not sure what shade this is because the uh, name wore off, but this is a like, ooh, this is a really cute taupey brown. It's one of those, I call them dead lips colors, at least on me. Another lippy that I pretty much bring everywhere, whether it's in this format or the regular bullet lipstick is my Lisa Eldridge Velvet Affair. That's like a signature lip color for me. And it's definitely a favorite. For lip liners, I mentioned I have one from Hourglass that's in my bag, so I'll get that in the odds and ends section at the end. But right in front of me, let's see, I have KKW Beauty. This is called Classic Icon. So a lot of these are those nude colors that are going to go with a lot of what I Hey, y'all. All right, I am back. We went to the High Roller, as I was saying. We had a good time. Then we went to this restaurant called the Tilted Kilt, which was cool. It is so hot. And on the way back, my mom wanted me to get some Prosecco for my sisters. We're having a little, um, just a little breakfast and I'm taking my sister to Vanderpump tomorrow. But in the morning, we're gonna have, you know, uh, mimosas or whatever. So it was gonna be too hot for me to bypass the liquor store that we were passing and go to the one I went to yesterday. Do you know I bought two bottles of Prosecco and two wine cans and it came to $92. Anyway, we're back and we're taking a chill time. So I'm gonna finish talking to you about the makeup. I'm drinking a bubbly Bellini Bliss. Hello, I've never had Bellini Bliss before and I need to find these at home because this is the business. This is like my favorite bubbly I've ever had. I like the cherry too, but no, this is my favorite. All right, let's get back to the makeup that I bought. I know the lighting is really off. We will work it out. Okay, I did bring my Fenty Beige and Gal bronzer. This is my very first bronzer in life. So I've had this since 2020, the end of 2020, I'm sure. And I wore that today. My makeup's still looking great. So I'm not mad because I'm walking around in like 110 degree heat. And when I last left off, I did talk about all my lipsticks that I bought, but I found two more, <laughs> three more that were in my purse. I'm gonna talk about those liners eyeliners mascara and then I bought some lashes in case my sister wants to wear some tomorrow so I have this is from Juvia's place this is Nubian sand and this is a new little color and you know what I decided I like putting this on sometimes in the middle right here to give a little ombre effect you probably can't see it because this is this is a mess but I like this little light okay I have Peony from Hourglass. I was telling y'all about that. This, I love, I love Peony. It's so good, so good. 
And then lastly, I have my Summer Fridays lip oil in Blush Dreams. I always have this with me, no matter what. It's always in my purse. And I did try a sample of the Sun Summer Fridays uh, lip balm that everybody likes, but I really like this. This is great. All right, let's get into the liners. I'm so tired because I just recorded a whole bunch. The sun is setting. This is a mess. I don't even know where I record it. So two from Lisa Eldridge. Who would I be if I didn't have Velvet Affair and Velvet Sorcery? I'm gonna swatch them again. Actually, no. Velvet Sorcery, Velvet Affair. Then I have my 90s pink lip cheat from Charlotte Tilbury. Just put that here because I don't know what I swatched it earlier. I cannot believe I did not press record. This is sad. Two from KKW Beauty, one from KKW, which is called Icon, Classic Icon. There. Skin by Kim, New 14 there and then my hourglass on cover which is what i like to wear with peony let's put that there okay there we go i think that's everything liners i have three melt cosmetics rich brown in the slick water line which is that one this is like my favorite liner then i also have fig from victoria beckham this is so good there she goes and then willow from swansha Oh my God, what's happening? Yeah. All right, let's move on before we don't have any more sun. Two mascaras that I have. I do have the Panorama Mascara from L'Oreal in black brown. I have Deep Violet in the L'Oreal Voluminous Original, and I'm wearing that, you can't tell. Can't tell much these days. For brows, my usual Patrick Ta, Brow Lamination Gel, Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows, and my Maybelline Express Brow. I do have my Lift and Snatch, and I did bring my Natasha Denona Skincare Infused Glow Beautifier. I did wear it up in the brow bone. You might be able to see a little sun kiss look right there, but it's the medium one. And let's see, you could probably see it if I, I don't know. Yeah, so I do like this actually. It wasn't sure at first, but I do. And then lastly, and then I'm gonna get off here because I'm starting to wow. I did bring some lashes. I bought a bunch of lashes. Um, I haven't been wearing them, but these are from Glam Light. This is from like that donut connection, collection, not connection, <laughs> donut collection. So I have these. I also brought these Impress Press On Falsies. I bought these a while ago and just haven't used them, but these don't need any glue. They're one time wear. So I was thinking about putting them on the outer corners or my sister wants to use them. I also have these random ones from Amazon, these little wispies. So I thought these would be maybe cute. And then my wax strips. So these are the kind that you just rub between your fingers. I, did I wax my lip? Yeah, I did, but just in case, I don't know who needs these, but I love these, so. That is all the makeup that I brought with me to Las Vegas. Yes, I definitely think I talked about everything at this point. And at this point, I'm losing sun or need to change the setup. So let me know your thoughts. Was it too much? How much makeup do you bring when you travel? I really plan on traveling a lot more in, I was about to say, how about this for the rest of my life i plan on traveling a lot more so i'm just trying to find the best way to do this i did bring some extra things because my sister was coming with me and i wasn't sure and then i had my makeup goals and then i decided to bring my camera and so i'm almost like let me bring some extra stuff my suitcase so most of my makeup went in my book bag because i don't trust it but my suitcase was like 50 pounds i don't even know how that happened because i wear the same clothes like during a vacation i just probably packed too much but yes y'all i told y'all about the bellini bliss so this is this is a business right here. I'm gonna lay down because our plan is to go to the pool. Oh wait, I don't know if I showed y'all. Peony from Hourglass, sorry, but I had to show y'all this because this is my baby. Peony from Hourglass right there, just in case I didn't show you. All right, that's what I brought y'all. So let me know your thoughts. I'm having a really good time here in Vegas and I'm gonna, my mom is making spaghetti tonight. So that's gonna be very tasty. I'm not hungry, but maybe I will be later, so. That's it. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Go on, blow.